Hi, we're here this afternoon at ASHP with Patty Keenley, an ASHP member, and she was the subject matter expert on the new ASHP e-learning courses, the Sterile Compounding Competency Library. So we have a few questions for Patty. Uh, Patty, what are the current competency testing requirements under USP 797? 797 requires didactic learning from folks, but also requires some practical learning. And that's what a lot of people have trouble with because they've never seen it before, or never seen the test done. So each person needs to complete successfully a media fill challenge test, which shows that you can aseptically make an IV or any sterile preparation, and also a glove fingertip test, which shows that you can aseptically gown and garb. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the new, uh, the competency library we have with the three e-learning courses, how can that be, how is that most useful in helping to meet those competency testing requirements under one, 797? One of the issues is needing some level setting things in health systems. So you want to make sure that all of your staff has learned the same thing and in the same manner. These courses provide that framework and they provide that level setting area with both examples of all of the pieces of 797 as well as how those tests need to be done. Okay. Now with the uh, the courses, I know you were involved uh, when we originally did as a subject matter expert on the DVD, the Compounding Sterile Preparations Video Guide to 797. Uh, what do you see as the advantages over the three e-learning courses as opposed to the DVD product? I think when the technology improves, everyone's looking for new technology. And one of the advantages of this is the ability to update things as mm. things change. Certainly 797 changes over time, though there has been no change since 2008. But it will evolve, and there are other chapters that also apply to sterile compounding. So as those changes are made, changes can be updated into the e-learning. Thanks, Patty.